Hello, this is Michelle from Simitude Sims, and I am here to do a small tutorial on how to make a plastic surgery genetic in Sims 2. So the program we're going to need is SimPE, which is the editing program for the Sims 2. Um, this notice I'm going to ignore because um, it's just because I have a different form of Sims 2 than they're used to. So um, it works. So I'm just going to say yes, go ahead and do it. It's going to take a, a few seconds to um, load up. Um, this is a tutorial to make um, Lila Grunt's plastic surgery genetic so she doesn't pass on her um, her bugginess to her children and that ends also so that she's not buggy. So this is what SimPE looks like. We are going to go to Tools and we're going to go to Neighborhood, Neighborhood Browser. This is going to choose our neighborhood that we're going to be editing. So we're going to choose our neighborhood which is Pleasant View and we will open it. Now it's going to um, need to uh, um, upload the neighborhood. This neighborhood's huge because it's my mega hood. So um, it, you have to wait until it's for it to upload. So um, I haven't done this for a very long time. I kind of um, went through it. Um, so I, I do remember how to do it, but be patient if I have to stutter a little bit around. <laughs> so now we're going to, uh, we picked our neighborhood. Now we need to pick our sim. So we're going to hover over neighborhood again, go down to sim browser. And so it's going to load that up pretty fast. Um, it, this is the right one to find Lila, but there are other ticks if you just want to find townies or if you want to find NPCs. Uh, if you only want the playables and not the ones that are dead, you untick that one. But this is the one we want. It's fine. Uh, we're going to uh, click name so it's alphabetical so it'll be easier to find her. So uh, we will go down to Lila. Whoop. There she is. So we're going to pick Lila. Open. And now this is um, Lila. There's lots of things we can um, we can adjust in here. And um, with more, um, we're going to go to Open Character File. And over here under Resource Tree, we are going to go down to Facial Structure. Now she has two facial structures, and that is because uh, she had a, ma a plastic surgery. If she did not have plastic surgery, she'd only have one, and you would leave it alone. So what we're going to do, the second one is her plastic surgery, it's the one we want. So we're going to right click on it and extract it. Now it will re extract anywhere that you want it to. You can choose wherever it is. I chose this um, destination. You want to be able to choose something you can find again. Um, this is where I chose it to be. Now if you are going to give lots of people uh, makeovers, you would just keep um, pasting over the same thing. Um, it, you save it and it'll say, you know, something else is saved. You want to override it and you override it because you've already done it before. Uh, we've only done one person, so this is hers. And we're going to save it. It says it already exists. You want to replace it. We say yes. So now we're going to go to her um, other facial structure. This is the one that she uses. She doesn't use this one. She uses this one. So we're going to need to take this information and, make, and bring it up here. So we're going to right click on the top facial structure and we're going to replace it with her uh, plastic surgery. So click replace. You have two files, SimPE, SimPE XML. You do not want to touch this one. We're going to go to the first one, SimPE, and we're going to open it and see how it's italicized? It's not saved. So if I leave now and I don't save this, it's just going to revert back to how it was. So we're going to go up um, here, I believe, and we're going to save the package. And now you see how it's righted up. It's not italicized anymore. That means that it is complete. So now Lila has the face she has and she's not going to lose it. So this is basically um, a small tutorial. It's pretty easy once you get used to it. And um, it, it just this program can do wonders with your game. Um, I have a game that I started in 2006 and I wanted to, um, Cassandra and Mary Sue and um, 
and Don and uh, Nina and all them to go to college. So I aged them all down to teens. I aged um, Mortimer down to an adult, um, da um, Alexander all the way down to an infant. And um, I did that to the whole, the whole, um, in the whole neighborhood. And I, um, you know, it made all the uglies not so ugly. I mean, just it took forever to do, but I still play it to this day. None of it ever corrupted. So as long as you are very careful in what you do, you can really uh, manipulate a lot um, in this game. So it's pretty awesome. So um, this is it. I thank you so much um, for watching. And until next time, happy simming.